Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. This is video number 7 of UiPath Assistant video series. In this video, we'll talk about how to migrate your automation to your personal workspace. In UiPath Assistant, you will have seen one of the screen. You can see from here the screenshot that is automations. Migrate your automations to your personal workspace. And how can we migrate our automations that we have uh, in our personal folder, in our desktop folder, or like in our, uh, you know, local folder. How can we migrate this to, to the our personal workspace in UiPath Orchestrator? So, let me show you. So, this is UiPath Assistant. Click on this. Click on this preferences. And then, click on this tools. Here you can see, there is one screen automations. And this button is disabled. It shows that there are no local automation to migrate. So currently we do not have any local automations. How can we, you know, have that automations, local automations, and how can we migrate that? So let me first open this UiPath Studio. And I have one automation here that is guessing game. That is coming from the older video, right? Let me just run that here. So recently I converted this automation to Windows. Okay, it's asking to enter a number between 1 to 100. So that is a guessing game number. So your guess is too small. Uh, let me put here 60. Still too small. 90. Still too small. 95. Congratulations, you guessed correctly, the number was 95. Okay, so we have this automations and I want to migrate this to the personal automations, right? So let me first publish this. So I'm not going to publish th this to orchestra directly. I'm going to publish this to this URL, this custom location that is C drive slash program data slash UI path slash packages. You can find it from here. So inside this program data, you will see UI path and then packages. Here you need to publish your package that your local automations, which you want to migrate to the personal workspace. So now let me click next and click publish. Okay, so this is the location. We have successfully published this one. Now let me come to this. Now you can see this is the package, NuGet package that just now I have published here. Now let's go to this, this location. Let me close this and click on this again so that like we can refresh this screen and it can take data from there. Now you can see this button is enabled now. We are getting in the blue color migrate because we have this package available here in this folder. Now, if you click on migrate, it will ask you here. I see you have created some automations, right? Would you like to migrate them into your personal workspace? Found one packages. So currently I have one package. So that's why I'm getting here message that found one package. If you have multiple, it will show you the multiple packages and then you can migrate this automations. If you don't want to migrate this, you can skip. If you want to migrate, you can click on this migrate. So now it's migrating your automations to personal workspace. Now you can see, you can find this automation here in your UI path. So this is my personal workspace, my email ID, and this is the workspace. So you will be able to see that automation in your personal workspace. So because I have already set here the option group by folder, right? So it will show you all the automation based on the folders. Like I have the learning folders. This is my um, personal workspace. So I'm able to see here. Now I can run it from here itself also, right? Let me put here 80, forty. Too small. 45 yeah the number was 45 okay so it's working fine now here right so this way we can migrate our personal like local automations 
to the personal workspace. You can also see once this automation, that package will be migrated to the orchestrator. You will see that will be automatically moved to a folder and the folder name is migrated to orchestrator. And you can see that is moved here. You learned how to migrate your local automations or the, your packages which you have kept in your local folder. You can migrate to your personal workspace without directly publishing to UiPath Orchestrator. I hope this is useful. If so, please like this video and please subscribe this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to learn Blue Prism, please visit my YouTube channel youtube.com slash Blue Prism RPA. And also if you want to learn Blue Prism from Udemy and you want to get certificate, you can search for my Blue Prism course there. That is Blue Prism RPA complete course. I will also put the link in, in my video description. You can go through that there. Thank you.